Uh, like many members in the 16 years I've been a member here, I've walked every day through the carriage gates and said a small prayer for the safety of those who stand there to protect us. And from now on, we'll add a prayer for the soul of PC Keith Palmer. Yeah. But amongst the bravery and professionalism that we saw yesterday, uh, and I say this as a, a former teacher who took children on many school trips, with the actions of the teachers, both of those injured in the attack and those who were here during the lockdown in this house who kept the children uh, educated, entertained and calm on a day on a school trip that they saw, witnessed and heard of things that they should never have to see. Uh, the Honourable Gentleman is absolutely right. I mean, it is, must have been particularly difficult for those uh, children who were here and, and being caught up in this. And the work of their, we should commend the work of their teachers in, in offering them that reassurance and calm. But we must also recognise particularly, I think, the role of the French teachers of the, of the French group. The last thing you expect when you bring a group of young people to visit another country is that something terrible like that is going to, is going to happen. And of course, uh, they will have acted to support and will be continuing to support the other members of that group who have been through this trauma.